All right, we're in search of a little adventure today. We have uh, just uh, drove about maybe uh, four or five miles off the Talamina Scenic Byway and still had the remnants of some snow on the ground. The trail we're going to is Goldville Trail. Sounds pretty cool, got a nice name. It's rated six out of 10 on Onyx Off-Road and that is how we found it. So let's get on down this road here as quickly but safely as we can and we'll uh, start filming some shots when we get down here and get on the trailhead. This trail is located in eastern Oklahoma in Lafleur County and is approximately about an hour and 20 minutes north of Broken Bow and 30 minutes west of Gold Mena, Hill Arkansas. Trail. Forest Road 6012. This trail is a point-to-point -point trail and is about 1.6 miles long in length. There are at least three campsites, one being large enough for about 10 trucks. And the initial portion of it features many of these deep washouts with the occasional large rock just thrown about the trail. Eventually this levels out and it gave us an opportunity to get out of the vehicle and check out this uh, cool campsite at the bottom of the hill. It's a little steeper than it looks, but still not sure I would give it a six rating. This campsite, relatively flat, room four, probably four to five trucks, potentially. Uh, there are some fire rings and it is close to the creek. And some others that have enjoyed this spot before obviously did not adhere to the leave no trace ethos. Please pick up after yourselves, folks. Oh, man, it's cold. All right. Uh, so we probably need to just uh, take care of business here and get on down the trail. We're about halfway down the uh, 1.6 miles. Still no water crossings. I believe I read that right. I think there are some water crossings, but we just haven't got them. All right, so the trail actually ends right here at this point. There is a, there's a map here for any of this through hiking that's that's available if you wanted to partake in that. Uh, there's a felled tree over here, uh, but there's this old, uh, this old shack. You can't really even see it in here. It just kind of blends in, but we're gonna check this out real quick. Yeah. We're going to uh, basically turn around here at this point at the old shack. Uh, it looked like it might extend just uh, maybe up this hill here, but I don't see any point in going any further. This is, uh, it's, a, it's an all right trail. I think it might be just a little bit overrated uh, as far as the rating on Mom, the- uh, let's get in the shack. Well, it does go on down this way. We may end up going down there and see if we can turn around, but uh, we're right here. This is called the Moses Cabin. 
All right, well, give you some uh, some shots here. It does say keep out. We're gonna respect that. But uh, let me get a little video inside here. Creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. It's not be out here on the water that can in the shot. I be scared. Oven. An old, an old, an old refrigerator or something. Oh yeah. Yep. Right. Wait a Man, what a view they had though. Hey, are you dry? I mean, is your like legs dry? He had a little accident, fell in the creek a minute ago, and uh, I think it scared him. Look at that! Look at that old fridge. It's all falling in. Cool. Well, that's the highlight of the thing. I like to see things like this. I was going to contemplate driving down through here, but from where I'm standing right here at the placard that says Moses Cabin, we are... Moses. This is the end as far as the MVUM. That's where the road ends. So we're going we're gonna to stop here. And uh, we're going to navigate ourselves back out of here and try to get off of this stupid mountain before it freezes completely back up. So we don't want to have any surprise. It's about 25 degrees right now, and it, it's it's quite cold. Dad, I don't like so, this interesting little trail. Got some camping on it. Uh, so, uh, but like I said, a little bit overrated. Still a little confused about how far that road um, will legally let you drive uh, on Onyx and on the MBUM. The forest road stops at that cabin. However, that is a county road that proceeds past that. So perhaps it is legal to drive beyond, uh, but unless I was to look at the other end of it, it could be gated or something else. But uh, at any rate, just to be safe, what we turned around. You didn't have fun. Why did that hurt your feelings? Because I wouldn't let you get in the water? You see, that's ice. Huh? Well, that's right, yeah, but I mean, if this guy were out, that's, that means that water's cold. Very cold. All right, let's get more. We were back at it after having a basic lesson on hypothermia and why we don't play in extremely cold water when it's 25 degrees outside. Well, you get a good look at the terrain in this lower area. Uh, that rattle is actually the bracket that holds the emergency brake cable to the lower links. And I don't have those actually secured with anything more than a zip tie, but uh, the zip tie left the chat. So that's what that little metallic sound is. We're back up to the Talamina Scenic Byway, and uh, that is about as difficult as you're gonna find in the Washita's. Um, it's just, it is what it is. But that was interesting. We had to go to Moses' cabin, and uh, had a couple little stream crossings there. There was some places I could see where if it uh, washed out a little bit more, uh, it could be a little bit sketchy if you were in a something with uh, smaller tires or whatnot. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button, leave us a comment, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Tell them bye.
Can't say bye. <laughs> See you later, guys.